Shout a big hallelujah. Let's lift up our voice once again and give him glory. Let's magnify him. Let's thank him. He's the king of kings. He's the ancient of days. The I am that I am. The one that said unto him shall the garden of his people be. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, reach out again to us via your word. In this first service, Lord, send your word to each one of us. Lord, those who are watching online, reach out to them. Distance is not a barrier. Lord, by your word, heal the sick. Deliver the captive. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. And please be seated. I want to appreciate God and our Father in the house who has asked me to bring the message of this fourth service. Also, once again, welcome all our online worshippers. The same God that is at work here will reach out to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The prophetic theme of this great month is, I will restore heads unto you. Can someone say that to himself? Again, he will restore head to me. And that will be your testimony. And the test is Jeremiah 30 verse 17. He said, for I will restore head unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Said the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion, who no man seek after. No matter how that challenge may be, no matter how that sickness may be, the God of our Father Bishop Oedipo will restore it back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will enjoy total head beginning from this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he repeated it again in Jeremiah 33 verse 6. He said, Behold, I will bring thee head and cure. I will bring thee head and cure. He said, and I will cure them. And this is why anyone hearing the sound of my voice, no matter where you are watching from, whatever that represents sickness in your body is coming to an end. I say it has finally come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. This month is your month of total recovery. You will enjoy divine health. Not only will God heal you, he will give you divine health. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every terminal disease in your life shall be terminated today. Seco Sayanema is giving way. Yes. HIV aid is giving way. Yes. Hypertension comes to an end. Yes. Barrenness is giving way. Yes. Coronavirus yes. comes to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Our teaching series that was introduced by our father is understanding our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. Understanding our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. The Bible made us to know in Psalm 119 verse 144 that understanding is what commands and inject life. When you live a life without understanding, according to Proverbs 21, you will walk in the congregation of the dead. But somewhere here, God will give you an understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Understanding of our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. By redemption, we have the heritage of total head. And that heritage will begin to manifest from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Now, the scarcity of understanding is what has undue many believers. Because what you don't know, you can't assess. But understanding is what brings to your knowledge that divine health is available. Healing is available. That by redemption, we are not meant to live a life of sickness and disease. And this is why Proverbs 4, verse 7 and 8, he said, wisdom is the principal thing. But however, therefore get wisdom. But with all you're getting, get understanding. Yes. Paul speaking to the Corinthian church in the light of understanding, he told them, brethren, be not children in understanding. He said, how be it? You can manifest that in malice. But in understanding, be like men. Amen. In understanding, be like men. And this is why after this service, understanding of your total head shall be delivered to your hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For every redeemed child of God, divine head is your heritage. Divine head is guarantee. The head, divine head is the establishment of your authority over sickness and disease. God wants us to be in health. That is, he has no plan of sickness for you at all. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he said, I wish above all, sorry, he said, my plan for you, my thought towards you is thought of good and of peace. And not of evil. He said to give you an expected end. And then told John, verse 2, he said, Paul speaking, he said, told John 2, he said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. This is why Jesus came and he took away sickness. He took away disease. He took away infirmity. And he has taken away the grief from us. He said how Jesus, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power. He went about doing good. Taking away sickness and disease from anyone that is oppressed of the devil. At 1038. And this is why right in this service, the same Jesus, the healer, is taking away your sickness. The same Jesus, the great physician, by his word, is taking away that disease from you. He's taking away that sickness from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Understanding of this truth is what enforces your dominion over sickness and disease. Now the journey to our dominion over sickness and disease begin at redemption. Because at redemption, we share the same kind of life with Jesus. This was the reason why Jesus came. In John 3, 16, he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting Life. Life that is not destructible by any virus. Life that sickness and disease has no power. And also in Romans 6, 23, he also emphasized that. He said, for the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is what? Eternal life. Through Jesus, our Lord. This life will begin to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is why when the light of the word of God overhead break forth, your head is permitted to spring up speedily. In Isaiah 58 verse 8, it said, Then shall the light, your light break forth as morning and thy head spring forth Speedily. And in Proverbs 4.20, 
He also told us, he said, my son, attend to my word. And incline your ears to my saying, he said, let them not depart in the midst of their eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said, for they are life unto them that find them and head to their flesh. So, when the light or the word of total head break forth in your life, you, you live in dominion over sickness and disease. And this, right in this service, light is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because the dominion over light, which is the word of God over darkness, is instant and unquestionable. He said the light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. Now, what are the lights? We have by new bed we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God. So understanding that new birth translates you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God is what helps you to walk in dominion over sickness and disease. There is a change of kingdom. Where you now live, sickness and disease is not permitted to survive there. Colossians 1, verse 13. He said, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Satan dwells in darkness and manifests his power in darkness. But God has taken us out of darkness into the kingdom of God. His son, Jesus, which is light. So, by that translation, we become citizen of heaven. And this is why Philippians chapter 3 verse 20, he says, for our conversion is in heaven. That conversation, conversation simply means your citizenship is in heaven. He said, from whence also we look for the Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, the understanding is what reposition you and I to operate in dominion over sickness and disease. We must also understand that redemption reposition us far above where all principalities and power torment. By redemption, there is a change of position. Not only change of position, you are far above. Far above principalities, far above powers. Ephesians 2, 5 says, Even when we were dead in sin, he has quickened us together with Christ. By grace, ye were saved. And verse 6 said, and has raised up together and made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, where sickness and disease does not exist. So, this understanding is what empowers your dominion over sickness and disease. We are not of this world. We may be in this world, but we are not of this world. So the things that are ravaging the earth is not permitted to hurt you. Amen. Sickness and disease is not your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in Ephesians 1 verse 21, it says, Far above principality, far above powers and might and dominion, and even every name that is Name not only in this world, but also in the world to come. We are far above coronavirus. Yes. It will not touch you. Yes. It will not touch any me a member of your family. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So how does this light empower us through the word of God, empower us for dominion over sickness and disease? In the first service, God's servant, and the second service highlighted that from the word, it is as far as our eyes can see. What you see from the word is what determines your lot. God told Abraham in Genesis 13 from verse 14 and 15, he said, and the Lord said unto Abraham after that Lord has separated from him, he said, lift up thy eyes and look from where thou art northward southward, eastward, and westward. He said, for as far as your eyes can see, to thee will I give, and unto thy seed forever. And we understand by redemption, if we be in Christ, we are Abraham's seed, and a heir according to the promise. So it is as our eyes can see. We saw an example of our father Abraham in Romans chapter 4 and verse 8 how he saw the totality of his head and that of Sarah. Romans 4, 18. He said, who against so believe in hope that he might become the father of many nations. Many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And verse 18, verse 19, he said, be not wicked. He consider not his own body now dead by reason of age, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. Praise the Lord. He saw that if God has said it, no matter what the body is saying, what God has said will come to pass. And with dead body, Sarah delivered. Amen. Someone, they may have told you that medically that you have short time to live. That that disease is a terminal disease. Every car has reverse. Reverse. So we serve a God that can reverse any medical, negative medical verdict. Amen. God is reversing that. Amen. That terminal disease, God will reverse it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From the word also, we saw that the word of God quickened our human body. In John 6, verse 63, it said, It is the spirit that quickened. The flesh profited nothing. The word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. And where we also read in Proverbs 4, 20 to 22, he said, My son, attend to my word and incline my ears to my saying. And verse 22, he said, For they are life unto them that find it and a head to their flesh. So the word of God quickens our body. Amen. Psalm 107, verse 20, he said, He sent forth his word, the word healed. And deliver them from their destruction. So the word of God we have access to. Is what confers dominion to us. Over sickness and disease. He said the word of God is quick. Hebrew 4 verse 12. He said the, for the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than two edges saw piercing to the dividing asunder of the spirit. To of the joint marrow and the intent of the heart. God's word brings healing. And someone here, as you are hearing my voice, wherever you are watching from, I declare healing is coming upon you. The healing is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Also, God's word transmits divine nature. Which immune us from sickness and disease. In first, second Peter 1 verse 4, he said, Wherefore are given unto us 
exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye may partake of divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss. He said, by these that ye may partake of divine nature. Divine nature. Divine nature. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2 said, and the spirit entered into me when he spoke, spake unto me and he set my feet and I had him that speaks to me. God's word impart divine nature to us. Now, what is in divine nature? Number one, divine nature free us from sickness and disease. If you read John chapter 3 from verse 1, when Nicodemus came to Jesus, and from verse 7, he said, you need to be born again. And verse 7, he said, marvel not, I say, you need to be born again. And in verse 8, he said, the wind blows where it's listed. He said, thou hear the sound, but you can't tell where it's coming. Neither is going, so is every man that is what? Born of the spirit. If where we read in John 6, 63, he said, the word um, I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So the word of God changes our human being to spirit being. It parts divine nature to us. And divine nature cannot be corrupted. Sickness is meant for human. But divine nature changes us to the nature of God. And that is what the word of God does. And this is why Isaiah said, anyone in Isaiah 36, 33 verse 24, anyone that has been parted by this nature, he said the inhabitant that carry this nature shall not say, I am sick. For the people that do it there shall be forgiven of their iniquity. Amen. Beginning from today, you shall be imparted with divine nature. Amen. You shall be imparted with divine nature. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, divine nature helps us to rule in the midst of our enemy. By divine nature, we rule and subdue. And some 110 verses 2 and 3 he said the Lord shall send the rod of thy sin out of Zion he said rule in the midst of their enemy the, after the, the enemy of sin was conquered the next thing God dealt, Jesus dealt with is sickness David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefit. And Psalm 103, and he said, who forgiveth thy iniquities, and who healeth what? All thy diseases. So, divine nature helps you and I to subdue Sickness and disease. We rule in the midst of our enemies. Amen. Number three, divine nature makes us complete brand new being. Amen. Divine nature makes us complete brand new being. The Bible said, in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. A new creature. He said, your old being has passed away. He said, behold, all things has what? Become new. All things has become new. And Ephesians 4.24 yes, yes, yes. Ephesians 4.24 said, 
and that ye put on this new man, which is after God, created in righteousness and in true holiness. So, divine nature makes us complete brand new being after the order of Christ. After the order of Christ. Sickness will no longer attack you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We understand from history that there was a time malaria was ruling over black men. Praise God. And malaria is caused by mosquito parasite. But the white men were not experiencing malaria because of their nature. Praise God. Now, if natural, by God's creation, there is a difference between white and black. Imagine the spirit being that God has made us by divine nature. Every sickness attacking human being will no longer attack you. If that is for you, your amen will be louder. Amen. Number four, what is in divine nature? Divine nature helps us to manifest heavenly, our heavenly being. Praise the Lord. It helps us to function in the nature of God. The Bible said in Romans 8, 19, that the whole earth for the endless expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, divine nature helps us to manifest our heavenly nature while on earth. In 1 Corinthians 15, 49. The Bible said, it said, as we have bore the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. If we have existed as human and by redemption we become a new creature, we must also why on earth here manifest that nature. And that is the nature that sickness and disease has no power over. Amen. None of us shall be infected. Amen. This nature that promotes divine head will be your nature. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Philippians chapter 3 and verse 21. Philippians 321. He said, Who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body? Yes. So, divine nature change our body to his glorious body. Amen. Divine nature change our body to his glorious body. Amen. And he said, According to the workings. According to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. By this change, by the manifestation of divine nature, we subdue all things, all sickness, all disease. And that shall be the testimony of every one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone that is hearing my voice, that hypertension you are subduing in. It will become underneath your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you are experiencing ovariances. By this nature, that sickness is giving way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness your body is bearing now. I decree that by divine nature that sickness is dropping off from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's rise up to our feet as we lift up our voice. As we begin to express our heritage of divine nature in Christ. Lord, by my heritage of dominion over sickness and disease, I come against every sickness, every disease. Coronavirus, you have no power over me. Mention that disease. Mention that sickness. Declare it by the word of the Lord. Declare it by the word of the Lord. That that sickness is dropping off from you. You are enjoying total health. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. There are some individuals watching us either from your handset or from your laptop. If you have not accepted Christ, you can manifest divine nature. It begins with salvation until you are saved, you are not saved. And this is why I want to lead you to Christ. You can put your hand on your chest and say after me, Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I believe that you died for me. And on the third day, you rose. That I may be justified. Today, wash me with your precious blood. Give me a new body. Give me a new heart. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And if you pray that prayer, congratulations. I want you to reach back to us in our numbers that is displayed on the screen. And we believe that God will keep you away from sickness and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise as we welcome our Father. Are you clapping for Jesus? Oh, come on, come on, come on. All across the globe, blessed by that word, shout the loudest hallelujah. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Shout a resounding hallelujah. We may not look, know how we're going to look like when he appears. But I have good news that when he appears, we shall look like him. Amen. I'm not here, you're allowed to say amen. amen. As when he appears, we shall look like him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. First John chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. I'd like us to use that to settle our case today. Read it me one to go. Behold. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because they knew him not. Now verse 2, one to go. But now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when it shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him. As he shout a loud amen, that shall be your testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Is there sickness in Christ? No. Is there wickedness in Christ? Is there cancer in Christ? No. Is there coronavirus in Christ? No. That's your testimony. That from today, you are being changed from glory to glory. Yeah. To be like him in divine nature. To be like him, light in the midst of darkness. To be like him, against the spirit of fear. To be like him, eternally connected to God. Lift your two hands and celebrate your new status in Christ. Like him, death is destroyed. Like him, attacks are shattered. Like him, every report is cancelled. Lift up your voice and prophesy. El Katanama, Beri Akasutaba. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
as you have declared a lamb, your mother shall be your portion. With excitement, shout aloud, hallelujah. Put your big hands together for the Lord and please be seated. For that good, good word that we received. Put your big, 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 big hands together for the Lord. Well, I'd like to assure everyone that's been a part of this service. First service, second service, third service, and fourth service. I'm sure you are loaded with divine nature now. You are loaded with God. We have four major assignments given to us that are t- telling, instructing us to take full advantage of, the, of our new birth. Now that you are born again, don't ever take your salvation for granted. Don't take your redemption for granted. Three instructions came from, four, four instructions came from each of those services. First service saying to us, go and get yourself loaded with light. There is no mountain anywhere. Every man's mountain is ignorance. Get some new books. Open the Bible to some new chapters. And second service we built on that, emphasize it. Go and not just get connected, stay connected and keep drawing. Build your faith to a point. Don't be tired until your faith explodes. Keep building it. Keep going after. Find it and practice. Find it and practice. Before you know what's happening, you'll be like him. Say loud amen. amen. Look for anointed materials. Go to Christ and keep digging and keep digging and keep digging. When you have found it, there shall be a reward. Devils will leave you alone. Remember behind every attack, there's one devil behind it. Fight that devil to submission. Say loud amen. amen. And the third service, attack the spirit of fear. You are born again not to suffer again. Fear has torment. Fear brings evil. Fear brings wickedness. Humiliate that fear. Don't be a transmitter of fear. I told them in that side, I said, when this, I see all kinds of things in my phone, when I say, pass it around, they say, please, pass, make sure you share it. I say, for what? Will you pay me salary? Share it for what? Am I, am I on your payroll? You keep sharing junk and sharing junk and see how many have died. How many have, died. How many have lived? Did you see how many did you say how many have lived? Be a carrier of good news. This message you had now, share with them. Get to YouTube, get to, get to the Facebook and pass that on. That Jesus is healing. Coronavirus has died. Share good news. Stop spreading junk. Destroy the spirit of fear. Friends, fear has been destroyed. Coronavirus has disappeared. That amen is not loud enough. Don't mess around with your, with your divine, with your, your, your new birth, your new status in redemption. And in this fourth service, fully loaded, manifest divine nature. If God is your father, go and be like him. If God is your father, go and be like him. As that message was going on, amazingly, Psalm 82, 5 to 7 came alive to me afresh. As I was laying out those points, he said, they know not. Neither do they understand. That's why they are walking in darkness. Any kind of junk can shake them. Tell your neighbor, relax. relax. Tell him, relax. You are not part of this attack. Tell your neighbor, relax. You are not part of this attack. He said, they don't know. That's why everybody are shaking all around. You can take advantage of this lockdown and hit your next one million error. This lockdown and hit your next one billion error. This lockdown and hit your next breakthrough. I have said, ye are gods. Every season is your season. Every time it's your season, you are, a lot of you are children of light. Can I hear an amen? But well, because they are not taking it, they being alert, they die like men and fall like world princes. But that will not be our testimony. Say a loud amen. So we are going to close with some heavy dancing. Our real life in Christ. I cannot be a victim. I'm born again. Never to suffer again. Are you excited about that? Put your big, big hands together for the Lord. Big, big hands together for the Lord. We're going to rejoice over the head of the devil. Sing songs of victory. Sing songs of triumph. And scatter your level, your leg. And I can assure you, here in the studio, we're having an explosive time. Make sure in your home, wherever you are across the globe, you do your heavy dancing and rolling and spinning on the head of every devil. Because before nightfall, you will hear good news. Shout a louder amen. Be reminded, I will restore health unto you. No more sickness. In the name of just men this week with those fourfold assignments, read more books, read the Bible, attack your attacker, beginning with fear, and then manifest true nature. You'll never see that trouble in your life in Jesus' name. Remember, on, on Wednesday, we are back again in the studio with us for the communion, 4.30 to 5.30 first service, 5.30 to 6.30 for the second service. And on Sunday, the 12th of April, 
will be our special communion service. Remember, life is warfare. It's not fun fair. We're going to get here, be here to fight that devil again and again until he clears back his loot and clears out from the earth so that life can be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Please also note any emergency matter, you need someone to help out. The numbers are on the screen. Make the most of those lines. Calling for help when you need one is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of plenty of wisdom. And you need him, somebody to stand with you in prayers. What we agree together to bind on earth shall burn in heaven. Don't keep quiet. Those are divine intervention lines and be a part of it and God will bless you. And keep the fire on your prayer altar. The fire will never go out in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your loudest amen. amen. Has God done you well at all today? Amen. Jump on your feet and give God a shout of praise. Remember those testimonies we read earlier as they stood practicing the word bone marrow cancer disappeared i don't know your case but god will repair your destiny the teacher said every car manufacturer he has every car has reverse gear and i add that every manufacturer he has spare parts hello he has spare parts to replace the one that is done or repair the one or recreate it a miracle is taking place right now the midst of dancing remember somebody there said he said for 18 years bedwetting the same God cleared. And then also, 10 years of partial blindness. God cleared it. He can finish any matter. And then lastly, we had the one. He said, look, 8 years of diabetes ended just by God. Lift your whole two hands. Receive the garment of praise. And get ready to explode in dancing. And rejoice.